First up tonight, new at 530. Because if you don't have the skill sets or if you're not given the opportunity um, to apply and interview and get those jobs, um, what else is it left to do around here? You may be looking to land a new job in 2019, but one study says that could be pretty difficult. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Mark Zinni. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. Personal finance website WalletHub says when it comes to the top job markets, two Connecticut cities are towards the bottom of the list. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom and more details on what this is all about. Hi, Matt. Hi there, Mark and Denise. Well, according to the survey, New Haven and Bridgeport didn't fare that well. And in the Elm City, the mayor's office is questioning those findings. It's really hard in New Haven. Um, I'm actually looking for a job right now. Tremaine Brown is trying. He says he starts college later this month and has a job interview tomorrow. I went to Taco Bell this morning. They said I have an interview at 2 o'clock tomorrow, so that's one job. But I'm looking for more jobs and more opportunities in the city. But the personal finance website Wallet Hub says those opportunities are lacking in New Haven. It just put out its latest survey determining the best and worst cities for jobs. And out of 182 cities across the country, Bridgeport came in at 163 and New Haven just two spots below at 165. Breaking it down, the Elm City placed 174th when it comes to the job market and 96th when ranking the city's socioeconomics. With New Haven, you know, only having a few um, major employers um, like Yale Hospital and Yale University. So I definitely can believe it because if you don't have the skill sets or if you're not given the opportunity um, to apply and interview and get those jobs, um, what else is it left to do around here? Reverend Kelsey Steele with New Haven's Varick Memorial AME Zion Church says he's not surprised by the ranking. He says people need opportunity and training. But a city spokesperson says New Haven is home to 80,000 traditional jobs and that its unemployment rate has dropped from 12.4% in 2013 to about 5% now adding 500 new businesses have started in New Haven since 2017. Quote, surveys like the one cited are traditionally suspect, rarely with any information provided about those surveyed or the sample size. As far as New Haven is concerned, this one has clearly missed the mark. Every Sunday I try to preach hope. A lot of my parishioners have um, taken on the initiative to go back to school in order to get more advanced degrees, hoping that it will open doors for them. And so the struggle is definitely real. Now Scottsdale, Arizona, Columbia, Maryland, and Orlando, Florida top the list of the best cities to see the complete report. We've got the link on the Channel 3 app. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.